Welcome to the FanDuel Hurry Up for the WGC FedEx St. Jude Invitational, a no-cut small field event held at TPC Southwind in Tennessee. I am Brandon Gadula here to break down three of my favorite golfers for this week's loaded field on FanDuel. Now, I love me some Brooks Kepka at 12200 but he is the betting favorite at 11 to 1 on FanDuel Sportsbook. And I also love Jordan Spieth as well, but I'm actually going to start with someone at a more reasonable salary, and that's Daniel Berger at 10900 Berger has won twice at TPC Southwind, back-to-back in 2016 and 2017, before the course hosted the WGC, WGC style of the event. So that definitely counts for something. Berger, frankly, is one of the best values in the field if you combine his long-term adjusted strokes gain numbers with his statistical rating based on recent performance across the most vital stats for this week, namely strokes gain approach, strokes gain putting, birdie or better rate. In the no-cut event, we will need birdies to separate golfers who finish similarly to one another. So not every 10th place finish is going to be the same. Uh, you know, this week it's going to come down to birdies and scoring and Berger has that ability. So Berger is one of the best golfers in the world, but comes in at a nice salary discount from some of the other elite golfers. And because the mid range is a little light, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to go the whole way down to 9,100 for my next golfer pick. And that's Harris English. English has won at TPC Southwind as well back in 2013 when he gained strokes in all four categories. That's always what you want to see from a win. It tells us that wasn't fluky. And yes, that was eight years ago now, but Harris English overall, pretty great form. Still flushing it, as we all know, uh, for Harris English. It's surprising to see his salary quite this far down the list. I know that the field is tough, but that hasn't stopped English from coming through in recent events. English finished 46th at the Open Championship after a win at the Travelers, a third at the U.S. Open. He has four top 15 finishes in his past six starts overall as well. He's not the longest driver off the tee, and that's actually okay for TPC Southwind, which does not absolutely require driving distance. English is an elite Bermuda putter, so he has a lot going for him this week. As for a value golfer, I'm going to go most heavily in the value range at Jason Koprak at a salary of 9000 It's important not to get too cute with our low-end plays in a no-cut event. Over four rounds, variance actually lessens. The weaker players can easily fall off. And we will see, as we typically see, numerous golfers finish over par. That's effectively the same as missing a cut for daily fantasy purposes. So yes, it's a no-cut event, but can't just get careless here uh, with our lineups. And the man, Jason Kokrak, has really figured out how to putt lately. And all it took was for him to be holding pocket aces, pocket kings, and pocket queens, which we all know is an illegal poker hand, but it's been working for Jason Kokrak on the PGA Tour. Kokrak is one of the best ball strikers that we have on the planet. He's gotten up to the 85th percentile in birdie conversion due to the putting he has put forth. He's got two wins this year alone, and while I'm not anticipating a win, he does really separate himself from the other value golfers this week. So there you have it for the Fandle Hurry Up. Best of luck with the WGC FedEx St. Jude Invitational. Mm-hmm.